like my new hoodie. It has a cat on the top and it speaks if you can just hold on. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna keep it on. <laughs> yeah, I'm really gonna keep it on the whole thing. So I told my sister, for your pleasure, I'm gonna keep the cat on my head for the whole video. Mm -hmm. You know, in case stuff gets a little sinister here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiyura and today I'm joined again by my lovely sister Sigil. If you have never watched one of my videos before, please hit the subscribe button down below as well as give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down as well. I post videos on an array of topics and I post every Wednesday and Saturday, bless you, <laughs> at 11 in the morning, South African Standard Time. For today's video, you guys really seem to like my superstitions video and I still have so many that I have from people who contacted me on Instagram. If you're not following me, go follow so that you can be a part of any other videos that I do like this down in below. the future. But yeah, so today we're going to just continue on with that. Okay, so for the first superstition, it says to always step into your own or others' houses with your right foot first to avoid negative, bringing in negativity with your left foot. I have never personally heard of this before, but you can ask Sigil. I, I'm not ambidextrous, like I can't write with both hands, but I use my left hand for a lot of things. So for like, for instance, um, you know, when you're using a knife and fork, instead of putting the knife in my right hand, if I was right-handed. Very weird. I put it in my left hand and I like cut better with that and my parents always used to shout me for that earlier because they're like that's not the proper way of doing that but and it's I mean, so I'm... uncomfortable because there's four of us so it's my parents on either side on our couch and then me and Kira in the middle so like if we're both eating I literally have to sometimes wait for her to finish eating because we can't like do the same but the thing, thing is is that my mom also eats with her left hand because you know like Indian people like we always eat with our hands she eats with her left hand so she can't eat but for some reason I don't know who taught me to do it on the left hand side but yeah and also when I give money to people a lot of times I always give it like with my left hand and my dad always shouts me when I do that because it's like will one bring negative energy to the person receiving it and second it'll make me or my family lose money um I haven't ever seen it like that but that's just the superstition I never heard of the house one but concerning doing something with your certain handed off your what your left or your right hand that's as far as i have gone another one that i got which i've also never heard about but might explain a lot is um if someone is talking behind your back your ear will turn red now a story about this is that me and my sister um have had eczema when we were like younger and sometimes we get it now but anyway Going with the story, eczema usually happens like, you know, um, in your elbow area or behind your knees. Or and like, like around your like shoulders. Yes. Or, like, yeah. or sometimes I used to get it on my ears. And if I get it now, then sometimes I do. I get it like on the like cartilage area. And it itches and it turns red. So if you be talking behind my, bla my back, no please. Black. <laughs> behind my back please stop because it Zoom makes me in slow-mo it makes my ear itch and it turns it red which is not an ideal situation if i'm like for instance writing a test and i'm like or like i'm just cooking. do what i do like i literally will tie my hair and i'll put the hair over my ears no that's gonna that's hair. just gonna irritate it more because the ears like i mean the hair it's you gonna put coconut right? oil in, ear, in your hair yeah but you don't use it. coconut oil all the time I always use coconut oil. Every but single day. When I go to school to get my Betty Cooper hairstyle, I have to use coconut oil. Uh, she's a very big Riverdale fan. Archie yeah. Harvex in general. Okay, yeah, but she's a very... <laughs> I can't stop looking at the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Look here, like it won't fall. <laughs> um, little funny story there. about this. <laughs> oh, oh, this sorry. <laughs> um, my <laughs> sister's actually had this cat. I'm pretty sure she, since we moved to Cape Town when she was like one. And so... And it's with my and it, my dog loves it as well. He like always like plays with it and stuff. But 
yeah, let's get on to the next superstition. So I would like to shout out to Kiara. We did not say this one yet, and I think it is actually very true to myself. Could be my carelessness with this one, but maybe not. Okay, tell the superstition um, first, auntie. The superstition is, if you leave your bag on the floor, you lose money. And the times that at school I've lost money either means there were thieves there or <laughs> I just, the superstition is real. I once was so excited for World Book Day. That was the one year I got the most money ever in my entire primary school career. I got like 150 rand to go get books. And I was like, I'm going to give myself some top model books back when I thought I was going to be a fashion designer as a backup plan if I don't get into acting. And when I lose the 100 rand... Right before you the just say you got day. 150. I know, do you get 150 in a note or do you get two? I only had 50 rand to spend. Oh, so I couldn't get a top model book, so all I got was a book for my cousin Tiana. It says, Daddy loves her, his baby bear, and that's all I could spend on. And I didn't get the top model uh, holiday edition, which ruined my childhood. Because everyone there was like, oh my god, everyone there was like, oh my god, everyone there was like, oh my god, I got the book. And I'm I like, like how she brings her childhood down to that one top model book. <laughs> Forget about the five that she had before. No, this one meant everything and made her It was childhood. a holiday edition. You can't find it anymore. Oh my god. Leave a comment below if you actually remember top model and if you used to design with it. But another um, like reasoning for this kind of thing i've never really heard the superstition but sigil can relate to it because she's lost money but in the hinduism um religion hindu religion. yeah hindu religion um, religion of hinduism. we have a goddess named lakshmi and also saraswati and both of them are the one is the goddess of wealth and the other one is goddess of um knowledge and so from a very young age, we were told not to leave our books on the ground because it would be one disrespecting um, any intellectual to put your capabilities. Feet and your books together. Yeah, but no, just like keeping your books on the floor, not even your school bag was allowed on the floor. And they said that one, it would be like disrespecting the goddess herself as well as any intellectual capability that she gave to you, as well as it would make you lose knowledge. So that's kind of the relation I had to this one. But Sigil had quite a hectic thing. And so that's if you did... only one story of me losing money. If you want um, reacting my childhood, you know. just Talking about on. losing things, Sigil and I are convinced there's a portal somewhere. Because I lost 100 Rand back when I was like 6 or 7 years old. And I've never found it again. So either Sigil or one of my other parents took it. Or it just got lost. Or it's because of the superstition. So for the next part of the video, one of my friends or family members, I actually can't remember, sent me um, an Instagram post by someone called Learn Mag. It's like one word. And basically what they did, they took a lot of common things that Indians or South Asians do or a lot of superstitions that South Asians believe in and kind of gave us the reasoning to why superstition why the superstition even exists you know and i find that quite interesting because i'm always that one person that wants to know why for every single thing i'm just a very it curious very mind annoying. i can't help it i just really want to know it's okay if you like ask questions about like the thing once but then she wants to go into detail why that became about and then she wants to go into detail why i that she's literally that person that literally goes why why? Not all the, well, not all the time. I just I should I call my two I have, witnesses? I have, Shall I call my two witnesses? I have a very curious mind. So I always ask why things are. It's very hard for me to just um do something or learn something or value something without a reasoning behind it. So anyway, that's basically what this next part is about. So for the first thing, um, okay, during my grand's um funeral time, um we didn't really cook like our family didn't really cook and I've also seen this a lot of people do this when their family members pass away and basically the family for I think a week or 16 days doesn't cook and family members or um, family friends kind of cook for them and the reasoning behind this it says that the ritual was created to give the family time and rest as death makes people sad and in such condition a person never wants to do anything which i'm extremely thankful for i've seen so many other um cultures and stuff still have to cook for 
people who are coming to con like give their condolences and stuff like that and i feel it's quite sad in a way because the last thing on your mind is like not eat it the last thing on your mind is like cooking or entertaining someone else you know you want them to to be there for closure but not so much to make food so i'm really happy that um like our culture kind of does this to give people the time and space to breathe and actually have that human connection with their other family friends the next one okay oh, i've never I heard this, this either have you heard it no, no i wash my hair like all the time okay so. it says that you shouldn't watch to wash your hair <laughs> wash your hair on tuesdays and thursdays and it says that the reason for this is that ancestors always knew the value of water i really do um i've never heard this before but i'm very happy that um ancestors and people before us were thinking of water wastage speaking of if you haven't seen my previous video which is all about tips to be ecologically friendly and how to help the earth i really suggest you go and watch that because water wastage is definitely something I spoke about in one of my tips. The next one is a superstition that I got from a lot of people before. And we addressed in a previous video. I don't know if we addressed this specific one. We did. But even if we even if we didn't, it's okay because then this gives you a little bit of background as to why it came along. So that is to not cut your nails at night. We as a family have been told this for many years. It's a very well known superstition in the entire Indian community. And this, I don't believe in superstitions, but I some yes, not all. This is um a very common one and you never really ask like ask yourself why this one came about it, like nothing kind of makes sense. And so for this one, what it came about is that there was no electricity during the time of people that came before us, so people that came about before oh, like um electricity and stuff was invented and so to make the superstition up they said to not cut your nails at night so that you don't end up injuring yourself if you can't see what you're cutting in the night so that's also a pretty um interesting one as well another one to do with funerals uh is to take a bath after a funeral and i don't know if this is so much a superstition as it is a ritual but i still thought i should include it and again when my grand passed away um all of us had to go and take a bath um after um all the rituals and stuff were done and they say this is just to prevent infection from the deceased and a human body is not safe after death and this directly relates to um coronavirus during the funerals of patients that have unfortunately passed away from coronavirus um, their body is unfortunately kind of kept in plastic the family is not really allowed to view um, the family member that has passed on and so even though the person isn't alive a virus or um, bacterial infection can last a very long time in the body i'm not sure this exact science by it but they can exist for a long time so obviously you can contract whatever the person had passed away from or whatever they were carrying and i think that's a really good um way to make sure that you don't catch whatever it is after you've attended the funeral so before we start i have something to say as um, you can see um we are joined by another guest and no it is not another teddy bear it is my very much alive dog it's Cody. not dead like a cat on the head that's hurtful to kitty that's a comment if you if you <laughs> <laughs> there is a notification that popped up. i was trying to read it but i'm blind so as a bat okay not as bad as okay anyway show who our guest is um my cat has been alive longer than cody has that's a lie i'm not talking okay you. that's true because <laughs> you've had it for long okay but look who's look who's sitting on me oh hi cody hey my baby boy hi oh, my baby let's see the reaction between cody is 10 so he's a very chill dog he's like get that he away gets, from he gets he gets he gets Two thousand years later. So the Why next one. Shouldn't... 
Yeah. Sweep the floor at night. That is what it says, right? Yes, Contra- it is right. <laughs> We've gotten a lot of this as well from um, when we asked people on Instagram. A lot of it, again, from Indian people. Because as I've said, Indian people are very superstitious. And um, I never really got this one. But I heard about it a lot from like other people when we would have conversations about things oh, like... Oh, to clean other people's houses. <laughs> 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 Um, but anyway, it says again, like with the whole night thing, that our generation calls it bad luck, which is somehow correct as sweeping at night under dark light can sweep some important stuff as well. So that's why very actually, like actually if you think about it, it makes sense. Like even with the cutting nails, it makes sense as to why we should not do it at night. But I think because everyone's labeled it as a superstition, we immediately thought it was some fancy like story behind it but no it's just so that you don't hurt yourself or so that you don't sweep important stuff away the next <laughs> one is to use lemon and chilies to protect from buri mm. buri, nazar. buri nazar so buri nazar is the hind is a hindi like phrase which means bad eyes again if you haven't watched my first superstitions video go and watch it because i also talk about how this wards off the buri nazar or the bad eyes but if you see um, outside a lot of Indian people's um, homes, they will usually have like a garland in their entrance to their house. And this is for like to cleanse the house when you're moving into it, to bring kind of good um, spirits and energy into the house. And a lot of times, if it's not like a um, synthetic kind of garland, it will usually have lemon and limes or um lemon and chili or lime and chili or all three and uh, obviously chili is very powerful yeah. like if you go on the eyes like if you are in it and you watch a lot of soapies like that's why a lot of them throw masala as <laughs> <laughs> Any- <laughs> <The best laughs> recognized anyway so yes indians don't only use lemon and chili for their cooking they actually use it for, for everything. decoration too <laughs> and it says here that it's both because they are rich in different nutrients which helps to protect your body from diseases and then for the final final superstition it no, says one, one, one. it says why shouldn't you move during a solar eclipse and i haven't just heard this said to everyone i've heard it said especially to um pregnant women they say that you shouldn't use a knife while there's a solar eclipse when you're pregnant or you shouldn't really move around during a solar eclipse because if you know, um, if you do biology or things like that, you just need to cut that side. If you do um, no. biology and stuff like that, then you know that the positioning of the baby and the development of the baby is very much um, determined by the polarity of the body of the mother's body so for instance knowing that for instance the one pole of the baby or whatever faces the mom's head it will know that okay that's where the head of the baby is supposed to go and then obviously again polarity will help the baby kind of breach and be able to um have their head come out first in natural birth so a lot of position so a lot of people believe that you shouldn't um walk around if you're pregnant when there is a solar eclipse as well as they say that you can get retinal burning or eclipse uh, sunburn or something like that and so yeah that's also why people say you should look and it at an eclipse um with your naked eye and rather use you know those blue or red lights 3d glasses as well yeah Thank you guys so 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 much for watching i really hope that you enjoyed this video it wasn't as like funny as the other one i think this one was a lot more insightful, insightful which i really do like because i feel there's a lot of people out there like me who have curious minds and want to kind of know where do all these superstitions come from what is the reasoning behind it um and so yeah i really do hope that you guys <laughs> enjoyed this maybe we'll do a part that if you guys really 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 like this one but obviously i'll ask people to send more superstitions in again if you're not following me on instagram There's do my so dog again hello do, okay you can just see his eyeball <laughs> but yeah don't forget to like subscribe and share as well as leave, leave a, a comment. comment of anything what you want future videos 
How's your day going? How's quarantine going for actually, you? Actually, to make the comments a bit more fun and actually give you a challenge, leave a poop emoji if you want the reacting our childhoods and a smile for the reacting our more superstitions. Okay, <laughs> so really, I hope that you guys enjoy this and don't forget to have a lot, a lovely day. Don't forget to have a lovely week filled with lots of love, happiness, light positivity and of course less superstitions love you guys bye, bye.